Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating this rustic farmhouse sign. This sign is over 40 inches in length and is created from a carpet plank from the Dollar Tree and an 8 foot piece of wood from the local home improvement store that was only 98 cents. This project is super easy to make and you don't need an expensive cutting machine for the lettering. Please see the description box below for all of the supplies and tools you need to create this project. I am excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share. So now let's get started on the project. First you want to decide what you want your wording to be. So I wanted the word farmhouse, so I did an internet search for the design that I liked and I enlarged the photo and printed it out. Now here I'm just going to go ahead and trim and align the sheets and then go ahead and tape them all together. Next we're going to take some freezer paper and cut off a length that will cover the entire word. Now place that freezer paper on top of the printout with the shiny side down. Then grab your tape and place a few pieces of tape along the bottom to secure the pieces together. Now grab your pencil. We're going to go ahead and trace the word onto the freezer paper. Now go ahead and separate the printout from the freezer paper, making sure to remove all of that tape. Now go ahead and place down a protective mat and grab your X-Acto knife. We are going to carefully cut out that lettering. Then you want to remove all the letters, making sure to keep the center parts of the A, the R, and the O. Now our local Dollar Tree received these awesome heavy duty carpet planks in many colors and they measure 40 inches by about 10 inches. We're going to use one of these for our sign. Now I'm going to choose this one here. I love how rustic and aged it looks and it would be perfect for my design. Now lay your freezer paper on top of that carpet. Now you want to take a warm iron and you want to gently press that freezer paper into place. What happens here is that the glossy side will form a temporary bond to the carpet. Now once that sheet is bonded, be sure to add the centers of the O, the R, and the A. And now we're going to paint. I will be using this leftover white paint sample and some textile medium for better adhesion. Now I added some of the paint to the bowl. And I'm just going to give a little squeeze of that textile medium in and mix it all together really well. Now you want to take that stiff bristle brush and you want to dab it into the paint being sure not to oversaturate that brush. Then you want to apply the paint to your carpet making sure to use a dabbing or a pouncing motion. Now I applied it in a way that had a variation in thickness and coverage and it gave me a worn and aged look I was looking for. Now after sitting for about 10 minutes, we want to go ahead and peel off that freezer paper to reveal the result. 
Now be careful, your paint is still wet here. Then we want to go ahead and remove the centers of the letters. And look at this, it turned out perfect. Now we're gonna set this to the side to dry and while we do that, we'll go ahead and start working on our frame. Now I went to my local home improvement store and I purchased one of these eight foot wood strips. I cut mine into four pieces measuring 41 inches and 7.5 inches two pieces each size. If you don't have a saw, you can have the store cut them for you. Now, it was my intention to use these wood joiners here to connect the pieces, but that was a total fail. Don't use these things, they bend like crazy. <laughs> so instead, I just go went ahead and adhered the frame together with E6000, and then I clamped it together to dry. Now, I'm later gonna secure these with wood screws to strengthen each joint. And here's those wood screws. So here, now I will be going ahead and put a coat of white chalk paint on this frame. Now I started with this foam brush, but I ended up using a chip brush to finish the job. And here it is, fully painted. We're just gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight. And now I will be adding a distress look to the frame. I will be using these colors to achieve this. Now taking my chip brush again, I'm gonna start applying the paints in a random fashion on a mostly dry brush. Remember, our intention here is to get an aged rustic look, so we just wanna wisp the brush across the frame. And here's the application, all done. Now once this dried, I took a 100 grit sandpaper and I did some light distressing. Now we wanna go ahead and flip your frame over. Now grab that carpet plank and we wanna lay it face down on the back of the frame. So flip that over, lay it face down. Make sure you kind of center it on the back of the frame. And then you wanna go ahead and take your staple gun and we wanna secure one staple on each side of the frame. Then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip it over to make sure everything is nice and centered and if everything is okay, go ahead and add more staples to secure the carpet. To hang this piece, I applied two of these hanging hooks on the back I had left over from a pack I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And then, after this, you're done. And here is the completed project. Wow, okay, so I really love the way that this one turned out. This wall art design kind of embraces that entire rustic feel and I would it would perfectly blend into like any kind of farmhouse or country decor. Now you can customize this sign with your own words too and you can truly make this into a personalized piece of home decor. It would be perfect for a family's last name or named after a room in your home or even for that man cave or she shed. And remember, this does not have to be rustic. There's so many colors and styles to choose from with these carpet tiles, and you can change up the style to match your own decor and your own style. Now this project is super easy, doesn't require any expensive equipment or tools to make, and you know what, this would make a perfect housewarming or Christmas gift. Listen, hey, if you enjoyed this project, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you would customize this sign for your home. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. 
If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.